Hey everybody, Catfish Jones coming to you on the far side of May Day 2017 and it couldn't be more gorgeous. I'm really enjoying this uh, oncoming spring season, the, the springtime weather and all that it comes with it. Um, looking forward to playing some, some shows this season. Of course, Normal Reaction has some stuff booked, um, including this weekend at the Discover Salina Naturally event, Lakewood Park Salina. Um, sounds like full afternoon of family fun, all free, and uh, we'll be there. I think we're playing from three to four, but there's a lot of other acts, so uh, come on out and check it out. Come see us if you if you see me, say hi, and uh, I'll look for you out there. Um, for today, I wanted to dig into the bag a little bit and uh, you know look at a set of songs I did. I guess I probably put it out in 2008, but maybe 2009. But it took a couple of years to assemble my real first collection of songs that I saw as an album, um, where you know I had a handful, you know, six to ten, maybe eight-ish that I, I thought were good, maybe picked the best five of those, and then came up with a few other songs to round out the album, the idea, the feeling of an album, um, which went along with some drawings and some sketches I had done um, to, to kind of make it a full art piece. So with all of that together came the 2008 recording etchings. Um, and I had a lot of fun with it. You know, I, I did a, a couple of demos before I actually did the real recording. And when I did the recording, it was the first I had really done in my own setup instead of using somebody else's thing or really just trying to, you know, sticks and glue make something happen. Um, but the result wasn't necessarily to my standards. So I decided I wouldn't do another full album until the results are a little closer, and that's where we're at with layers. Um, but etching still happened. I'm not going to go back and re-record it once I get better at recording. It's done. It is what it is. And it documents a piece of time in my life with those songs. And those songs are very important to me, um, as important as that time in my life was. And, you know, the times in my life that it talks about those etchings, those, those marks made that can't be unmade. Um, this is a song from that group that I discovered really at the very last minute of the writing process for that record. Um, and that's, that's what I love about making a record as opposed to just writing a song here or there. You have this idea, you know what you want this record to say over the course of several songs, the story you want it to tell through the pictures and, and everything else, and when you're missing an element, you then have to figure out how that element fits into the record and how you can say that in as few songs as possible, maybe one song, maybe two songs. Um, and maybe it comes across as a little contrived, I've heard that for sure. Um, I, I don't want to shy away from contriving a good song, but I also want to be conscious of it and not over-contrive as I go. This one, I don't know if it is contrived, it's become, become one of my favorites overall outside of the collection and inside the collection. Um, it's, it's a little song called Seven Cities of Gold. Here's how it goes. Grown, it's hiding. If you can find. 
find seven cities of gold you can find me juxtaposed anointed distance disjointed I'm raving like a lunatic till I forget the point of it stone and ivy love is overgrown it's hiding if you can find seven cities of gold you can find me I'll be buried under stone and ivy this love is overgrown it's hiding if you can find seven cities of gold, you can find me. You can find me. You can find me. So that song's called Seven Cities of Gold. Um, I put it out in 2008 on a collection of songs, a record, if you will, called Etchings. Um, and it was a lot of fun. The whole thing was fun to do from start to finish. I learned so much, um, so much that I still apply to specific songwriting, to album making, to the whole plethora of different things that come with songcraft. Um, and I feel like I've grown quite a bit, obviously, from what I hear on the stuff we've been making, the, the recordings are getting better to a point where etching or where uh, layers is going to happen hopefully by the end of the summer. And, uh, you know, I can continue to go forward with one of my favorite art forms, which is the record format, which combines visual art and music to tell a whole story, um, which I guess is ultimately how I see myself as a storyteller. Um, so, I'm glad I got to share that with you. I'm glad I got to cover that ground and, uh, you know, this spring and this season of renewal and rebirth really kind of go over some of those old things and, and prune it a little bit and, and, and share a, a piece of my life, a piece of my time um, from those years. Um, I'm sure if you dig enough, you can find all of that stuff online. Etchings, I think, is in full on my band camp as well as some different stuff, and I think you'll hear what I'm saying on the recording quality, but also on the songwriting quality. Those were some good songs and deserve to be recorded better. Um, I'm probably not going to retread that ground. I mean, there's houses that deserve to be built better, and instead of fixing them, you should just tear them down and build a new one. That's that's kind of how I feel about the record. And, you know, the other side of that coin is you can sit around and wait until it's going to be perfect, and then in 20 years put out the first one ever. Or you can put them out incrementally and show the progress and then in 20 years look back at your growth. And that's what I've chosen to do. That's the path I've chosen to take at least. <clears throat> I hope to look back and see all of these, these daily or Wednesday vlogs. Uh, I hope to look back and see these records, all of these songs, all of this stuff from what I will then consider my youth. Um, and hopefully I'll laugh at it and, and say, wow, how silly I was either caring so much or playing so poorly. Uh, but in the end, this is how it was. This is Wednesday in May, and I've been Catfish Jones, so you guys, we'll look for you next week. Cheers.